Today I'm going to introduce you to a website called Powtoon. It's an online app that can help you flip the classroom. You use it to create animated videos and or presentations. So it is a free website, so I'm going to start now. I do need to create an account though with my first and last name, an email address, and a password. It does ask you to click whether you're a student, teacher, etc, etc. So they know what purpose you're using it for. Sign me up. I do have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once I've done that, it's going to pop up my dashboard, which will show any previous Powtoons I've done and allow me to create a new Powtoon. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. It has several templates with different themes already prepared. You can click on one of those to start. I'm going to go ahead and start on a blank Powtoon. May take a few seconds to load. So when this pops up, this is where you edit your Powtoons. Here it gives me three slides automatically. I'm going to go ahead and add the background to this one. It's got text effects, how the text enters, things that can hold images, different characters. These are animated characters, props, which are kind of like clip art things, uh, different markers, shapes, transitions, and other backgrounds. Over here is where you add a slide on the plus and you delete a slide with the minus. Here you can copy objects onto a new slide or here you can duplicate an entire slide. Up here you can change it from a movie to a slideshow. I'm going to keep it a movie. I'm just going to make a real quick assignment movie. So I'm going to insert a waving man and tell him and have a hand write here and click there to edit your text and you can change color, size, and font and I'm going to underline it and I'm going to say time for a new assignment and then I'm going to center it and apply and it's going to pop up there down here I can tell it to start at a half second instead of one second and I could tell the guy to stop waving at six seconds and I can make the entire slide only six seconds long. So to see the slide I just start at the beginning and hit play and it's going to show me the hand writing the words and then I'm going to move on to the next slide. I'm going to make this pink and I'm going to insert an image I can make this as big or as small as I like and I'm gonna call it a that this assignment is about flowers I can adjust where that is. And then I'm going to do this slide. I'll make this one yellow. And then down here in props, which is the clip art stuff, I'm going to put a picture of a. Um, let's just do a picture of a computer again and make it a writing assignment. And I'll add my text on into the computer screen so it looks a little cooler. I'm going to use the text that makes it show up like it's kind of like it's been typed. I'm going to add that and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to say pick your favorite flower and write a one page paper about its special properties. I'm going to change the font to make it a little smaller and apply. Then I'm going to center it, 
one more thing. And there, and then I'm gonna add a an animation. I'm gonna add a female typing, so that they know it's a typing assignment. And then I can add a slide and say, let's change the background a little, make it that. And then let's say when you're done, to email it. So I'm gonna say when finished do the following and I'm gonna add some more clip art pictures here to get the students attention I'm gonna add an a paper clip an attachment and a letter for an email I can also rotate these images to make them a different angle if I wanted to. And then I'm going to insert my words here at the top. And I'm going to use the hand and say uh, attach assignment as to an email and send to me your teacher because who knows how late they'll be doing this assignment and then I'll add a another one down here with my fake email address here I'm gonna say address at fake school dot edu and then I can make it here that it applies all in one line like that and then I can play from the beginning click this button right here and it's going to show me what the whole thing looks like And since I don't like both those hands typing at the same time, I'm going to come down here and click on the second hand and make it start typing a little later. When I'm happy with what I've done, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit save. It's going to save what I've done, and then I can come up here and I'm going to go back to my dashboard, and it will show up. Here is where I can edit my name. I'm going to call this, call this screen. So here I'm going to edit my name, maybe. screencast is what I'm going to call it I'm going to hit OK Here's, and I had the details and I show the details it's going to show the video I can hit play on the video and I can hit play down here and I can make it full screen if I've decided I've forgotten something Then I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to hit edit. It's going to bring back up the edit screen. And I'm going to insert a sound up here. The free version has different music that you can already use. I'm going to go down here and just pick a random song. Um, I'm going to pick this song. I'm going to hit add. I'm going to tell it to play on a loop and apply it and then now I have a song playing as well example and then I'm going to hit save to save my changes and then back to my dashboard and here I am with a Powtoon video animation to do a lesson or an assignment for my students.